The Apprentice of the Year Awards offers enormous value to the industry because we're actually able to showcase the future. The training, uh, the whole of the training process to, from start to finish is showcased here in this competition and then being able to take that out to young people who might be thinking of painting and decorating as a career or to the employer who is looking to employ someone who is going to add value to their business. Just want to say a big thank you to our sponsors. This day couldn't happen without you. Thank you. We're going to see some wonderful talent today and I really look forward to what they're going to produce and what it means for the future of our industry. The nominations begin about three months out and it goes out to all apprentices. Uh, anyone can enrol. There's a, an online uh, test or an examination and, and that culls down the 10 uh, entrants that go on the practical day. The apprentices are, are tested on the day for their preparation skills and also their application of a variety of different coatings. They have to draw a design on the wall and apply the correct colour scheme to that. There is a component also of colour matching specific colours um, and they have to do this safely so work health and safety is a big part of the assessment as well. I entered because I wanted to win the competition and I wanted to test my skills and prove to myself that I can take on tasks like these and I enjoyed the actual painting and the hand skills that come involved with it. Making things go from old to new or finishing stuff off and just making it look better than what it was. The prep parts are okay and it has to be done but the painting part's definitely the most rewarding part. The boss I have now is looking for someone and I would give it a go, see if I like it or not. And yeah, I've enjoyed it ever since really. Can't, yeah, won't go back. There's like a variety of things you can do, like timber work and all that. New job every few weeks or every day, I love it, yeah. Something different. I've heard about it since I started with my boss. She told me about it and it's always been in the back of my mind, but never thought I would do it. But yeah, might as well give it a go. You've got nothing to lose, I suppose. So I chose um, painting apprenticeship because I wanted to acquire a qualification in the building and trade industry. And I wanted to try something new. For me, I think the most rewarding or enjoyable part of being an apprentice is seeing the reaction of the client when they see the final outcome. May it be a whole, complete color change or just a, you know, a quick freshen up of the paint. I want to challenge myself to do well in the competition. Oh, my dad was a painter, so I always grew up with him painting everything, and I kind of had no idea once I left school of what I wanted to do. And I thought it was a pretty awesome idea to go work with dad, plus having a trade is always good. People think it's just painting, but you get to actually do so much different things, especially like cool different colours and everything. Somewhere, somewhere different, get to meet all these different new people, it's just always different. You never know what you're going to do. I entered the competition just to give myself a bit of a challenge, um, and also just, I really enjoy painting, so I thought, why not? And definitely proving it to my dad. <laughs> so there's some hidden skills in here that the apprentice needs. Uh, so they're dealing with time management, adapting and changing to different scenarios on the day, reading and interpreting plans and specific requirements. Also, I guess, uh, the pressure that goes with having to do it in such a constricted environment as well. I uh, follow in my dad's footsteps. Um, he's been doing it for about 20 years. Sort of gradually decided to do a trade with him for the challenge, see how I go. Seeing as I've done it last year, I just wanted to push myself again and see how I go this year. Uh, the satisfaction you can get from a job, especially seeing a transformation before and after. And, uh, if you'd like a crazy job, um, relaxing, it's definitely a trade for you. Just wanted to try something new. I originally wanted to be a plumber, but painting opportunity came up as an apprentice, so I took it and went ahead with it and stuck with it since. Just the variety of doing different things every day, like you're not doing the same job repetitive every day, it's different houses, repaints, construction work, marine stuff, so it's good. I just love new challenges, so like just to see how far I can push myself and just new opportunities, support the company and just show them how much I enjoy my job. I want to put in my imagination into reality, you know. I want to see the outcome of um, what's something that good, looks good. I like to learn more stuff, especially the basic ones like cutting in and rolling. But I also want to learn more about color matching. Also, I want to enhance my ability and skills on everything, um, especially cutting in, and of course to compete with these guys and just have fun, you know? Well, I made a friend and his mum was a painter and yeah, I got an apprenticeship with her. I just thought one day, why not? 
I love rolling and brushing in and you know for me the favourite part is when you've finished and you stand back and you see that you know you've created someone's house to look beautiful you know and they're going to enjoy that for the next you know 20-30 years. Well my dad won Apprentice of the Year in engineering and I guess I'm a person with very low self-confidence so it's sort of for myself to prove that I can do this. My dad is a blast painter. He wanted me to eventually work my way up through the system to try and get into the industrial painting side. I needed experience to get that beforehand, hence why I chose the painting and decorating. It's always the, the finish of the job that, that uh, excites me. How it looks after we've been through the job, um, turning something that looks horrible into a nice, pretty, house or building or whatever it may be. If you've got a passion for being an artist or for making something look better than what it is, um, house painting or painting and decorating may be your choice. The Apprentice of the Year competition is something that the association believes very strongly in. This is the future of our industry and it's very important that we showcase young people and encourage more young people into the industry. We all know at the moment that uh, getting a qualified tradesperson is extremely difficult. So having this and being able to take it out there to other young people and say this is a, a fantastic career um, is very, very important and I think we've done it really well.